I adore slammed Volkswagen Beetles. There's just something about their body lines and their character that just fits it so well when they're just dragging frame. But this one in particular might be the most unlucky beetle I've ever seen. It has been repaired up to four times because of catching fire. The Beetle is not a fast car, but I wanted to know why people are so passionate about these things and why after catching fire, it was repaired so many times. People adore the Volkswagen Beetle and I wanna know why. So let's go for a drive and find out. Hello and welcome to a Volkswagen Beetle from 1961, back in the day. Oh, there we go. So that was the air compressor because this thing is on bags. This thing is pretty much a show car. It just looks absolutely beautiful because every time you try to drive this thing on the highway, something goes wrong. Unfortunately, one time he was on a show, he did a burnout and the transmission mount just completely blew apart. Another time, he hit a bump on the highway and the fuel tank flew up and around. <laughs> Basically, this is a cruiser around town to enjoy yourself and look pretty. And it, man, does it look good. The airbag system on it, is pretty much all custom. Pretty much everything on this car is all custom, but instead of having an airlift or an AccuAir or anything like that, it's a slam specialties system. So everything's custom made from the front to the back, all that good stuff. And the gauges work fine, but on my left by my knee is the bag system. Fun fact, this car caught on fire four times, <laughs> but thankfully he redid it, redid the wiring, redid it with the bags, and then that solved everything. With the bags, you have the practicality of driving around, but at the same time, when you get to the car show, you can just dump it. And Bugs are one of those cars that when they look slammed, no matter how much camber there is or anything, for some reason, it just doesn't look obnoxious. It's, it just fits right in. To give you perspective, if you laid this thing all the way down on frame, and I went like this, I could, I almost did, I can touch the ground. But you almost have to do the hand drag out when you drive something like this because you're part of that community. That's a, That should be a sticker. I'm part of the hand drag community. <laughs> it is a grabber blue Ford paint coat on this thing. So essentially the same color as my Mustang, which is oh so flattering. He came up today and said, I painted it your favorite color. And I was like, even better. We're also a four speed transmission, but I've noticed the clutch pedal is all the way over here towards me, so it's angled at me. And then the brake pedal is here, and then the gas pedal is a wheel that's loose. He also has this really nice shelf underneath the color match dash. One thing I've always really liked about the Volkswagen Beetles is their color match dashes because it adds so much character and personality to these things. Because this, at one point, I mean, Volkswagen Beetles were produced forever. And off the top of my head, I can't remember how long it was. I'll just put it right here. They're building them in Mexico, all these different places. And I couldn't imagine driving this thing on the Autobahn, which this was supposed to be the people's car and they were driving on the Autobahn. So I could not imagine. My favorite thing about it, I think is one, I, oh my God. So ah, the transmission four speed. What's weird about it is that to go into first, I'm used to going like this, right? And you go straight up. So when you're in neutral, you go straight up and then straight down and then you go over and over again. So when you're going around a corner, well not like, you know, not fast like a performance car, but just literally tooting around town as I'm bouncing up and down with no seatbelt, there's no seatbelt in this car. I have to really think about what I'm doing because I'm not used to this. I go into neutral and it kind of reminds me when I drove the Ford Model A when I had to double clutch it and then go over. As you drive around, is the ride smooth? doesn't look like it rides smooth. <laughs> but at the end of the day, good looks cost something. So we also have a wheel from Germany that goes really well with the interior. It looks really nice. And basically, if you look at the wheels, they're the old school wheels that came on the Volkswagen Bug. Also the seats, pretty standard, normal seats. But if you notice in the back, there's blinds. I really like that. So it's like the combination of taking the people's car making it a more modern stance car and show car, and also combining it with VIP car. The motor, the motor in the back is fully built pretty much, and he actually found this motor for $300. He opened it up, made sure that everything was fine, and 
the motor had not run pretty much at all to the point where there was red X's still on the pistons. So basically, it had pretty much never run. So he basically walked out with a deal, no problem. But if you don't know this, say you have a Volkswagen Beetle or a Carmen Ghia or anything in this era, it is four bolts to pull the motor out. Just four. So the appeal of it in the Volkswagen community, think about it. It's easy to work on, it's mechanically simple, and if you think about it with how long they produce these cars, you can find parts everywhere. It's an old car, uh, bump. It's an old car that you can find parts for absolutely no problem. You know, this is just the complete opposite side of the car scene that I'm used to, right? Low and slow is just not really my thing. I just never have gotten into it. I never built a stance car. But when I drive one and I'm just cruising and enjoying myself, I start to kind of get it because I'm like, oh yeah, I don't have to stress about anything other than, well, scrubbing. Oh, you know, I'm gonna rephrase that. I guess you have to worry about a lot because you have to worry about your body and your fitment and exhaust rubbing and frame rubbing and people judging you. <laughs> so. He's also got a titanium plate underneath so he could drag the entire frame if he wanted to. Smile and wave. Either get people pointing, staring, or just utter confusion. <laughs> There's no in between. The thing too is about driving a Volkswagen Bug. It, it is a classic car. At the end of the day, you are driving a classic car. And for a lot more affordability, I'm not saying that building a Volkswagen Bug is cheap by any means, but it's way cheaper than building, say, an old bustle car or anything like that since parts are so cheap and they built them for over 50 years. Also, I noticed right here, he has a Sowo air freshener. R.I.P. Sowo. Sowo was a meet for Volkswagens down in Helen, Georgia. And beautiful area, looks like a German town. One of my favorite places to go for car stuff. Anyway, Helen, Georgia is great, but it's unfortunate that Sowo is gone. Now it's a European experience down in Savannah. Okay, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My favorite thing about this car is when you pop the hood though, which if you guys obviously now you know after seeing the motor, the motor's in the back, always has been, always will be. But, well, I guess, yeah, the new ones don't. Well, yeah, I screwed that up. The new ones have the motor in the front. It's insanely well done. The air tanks look amazing. Everything was done really well. It's clean. Like, if you're gonna have a show car, the thing about a show car is that you can't miss anything. Everything has to be pretty much perfect. Dude, it's straight fuel in here. I give this man props for driving this thing because the old school carbureted motor, I forget how much fuel you smell, man. I've always loved the Beetle as a platform for project cars because you just see people do crazy things with them, including stands, but you also see people doing crazy performance swaps too. I have to literally lean all the way like this to reach down for the shifter, by the way, because it's a floor-mounted shifter. So when people do that to a car that was never meant to be fast, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Another thing I think is kind of neat about this Beetle is, uh, or Beetles in general, is the fender mounted mirrors. I've always really liked that. The fender mounted mirrors, they actually work really well. And you wouldn't think so. You'd think they need to be over here. And oh yeah, by the way, this is my AC. <laughs> you just open this window up and it funnels it right to me. And I'm ready to go. What do I think of the Trap House Show Beetle? Man, it is a joy to just kind of drive around, wave, smile and wave like a freaking pageant and see people smile as you go by and go, that's a Volkswagen Beetle. Everybody knows the Volkswagen Beetle. Everybody knows somebody who has had a Volkswagen Beetle. And it's just one of those cars that everybody knows and loves. And these guys did it the right way. And I really appreciate what they did. And I will see you guys next time and take it easy. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. This video is brought to you by Patterson Car Care. Get double of premium original detail product for half the price. Head over to PattersonCarCare.com or go to the link in the description below.